Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here. So this will be our first video in test your math skills segment. So what we have on the screen here is this big triangle ABC and we need to determine the area of the blue region of the triangle given that the smaller triangle up here at the top ADE has an area of seven. So we are also shown that D is the midpoint of line B, D, and A. And point E is the midpoint from A to C. So without giving any dimensions or anything else, we can actually find the blue area of the triangle pretty quickly here, given that D and E are midpoints of the sides of the triangle. Well, According to what is known as mid-segment theorem, or also commonly referred to as midline theorem, if all midpoints of each side of a triangle connect, then four congruent triangles will form on the inside of the main triangle. Or you could say that as once you have another little segment down here, which let's just put this in green, hopefully it shows up. So once we have another segment down here, a midpoint between B and C, and let's just call that point F, and if we connect down here from midpoint to midpoint, and then midpoint to midpoint, up here and up here, we will get four equal triangles of forming within this larger triangle. So we would have one triangle right here, which is equal to this one, which is equal to this one, which is equal to this one. Oh, that's supposed to be four. So all four of those triangles are equal in area. Well, we're already told that the first one up here has an area of seven. So that means that the second, third, and fourth all have the same area due to the midline theory. And this comes from trigonometry and geometry. So. The blue shaded region is made up of triangle two, three, and four. So we have three triangles within the blue region. So the area of the blue region is just going to be four times the area of the top one of ADE, which is seven. So four, or actually three, sorry, because there's three triangles in the blue area. So three times seven, which gives us a total area of 21 for the blue region. So... Just goes to show that don't need a whole lot of calculations when you're testing your skill. You just need to know theorems and knowledge and properties of geometry and trigonometry to solve this particular problem. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you got it right and tested your skills. If you want to check out other videos of this variety on our channel, please check them out. Also, if you haven't done so already, please leave this video a like, a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.